Kentucky State Rep. Dan Johnson addresses allegations that he usually abused a teenager after a New Year's party in 2013. Timothy D. Easley Associated Press Kentucky lawmaker Dan Johnson was found dead Wednesday, an official said, days after allegations surfaced that he had molested a member of his church when she was 17. Bullitt County Coroner Dave Billings said the Republican state representative, and self-proclaimed, Pope, of his Louisville church, most likely killed himself. His body was found near a bridge on Greenwell Ford Road in Mount Washington, in a spot called the River Bottoms. He had a single gunshot wound to his head. Officials discovered Johnson's body after they were made aware of a concerning Facebook statement and tracked Johnson's phone to his location, Billings said. A gun was recovered at the scene, said Lieutenant Scotty McGaha of the Bullitt County Sheriff's Office. More details will be released Thursday after an autopsy is done. Wednesday afternoon, Johnson, 57, again denied the allegations against him in the now-deleted Facebook post, adding that, I cannot handle it any longer, but heaven is my home. State leaders from both parties had been calling for Johnson's immediate resignation after the Kentucky Center for Investigative Reporting Kaiser published an expose Monday detailing allegations of how Johnson woke his daughter's friend during a sleepover in 2013 and forced himself on her, slipping his hands up her shirt and bra and putting his fingers in her vagina. What you did was beyond mean, it was evil, the victim said she wrote in a Facebook message to him shortly after the incident, according to Kaiser. Johnson denied the accusations Tuesday. This allegation concerning this lady, this young girl, absolutely has no merit, these are unfounded accusations, totally, he said, according to the Courier-Journal. The victim, now 21, told Kaiser that for years she had considered Johnson to be a second dad. She became close with his daughter, Sarah, and familiar with the boozy weekend parties Johnson would throw at the Pope's house, the fellowship hall next to the heart of Fire Church. Those parties, Kaiser reported, featured scantily clad women, body shots and costumes. In the first hours of 2013, as a New Year's Eve party came to an end, the victim, then 17, was spending the night with Johnson's daughter in the apartment under the fellowship hall, according to the report. The Post does not identify victims of UAL assault without their consent. Johnson entered, drunk and stumbling, so the victim helped him navigate the stairs. She thought he was putting his arm around her for balance. Until his hand allegedly slipped up her shirt, Kaiser reported. The victim then woke up later that night on the sofa. She found Johnson kneeling above her. She told Kaiser that he kissed her forehead, and then slipped his hands up her shirt and bra. The report said he groped her, stuck his tongue in her mouth and put his fingers in her vagina. She begged him to stop and tried to force the man, who weighed twice as much as she did, off her without waking Johnson's daughter, Kaiser reported. He told her she'd like it. She said no, she didn't. She pleaded with him go away, go away. Kaiser reported. He eventually did. The Kaiser report highlights how Johnson, known in his church community as Danny Ray Johnson, painted a picture of himself over the years as a pre-gun, pro-life, patriot, which helped propel him into the Kentucky legislature in 2016, when he won the House's 49th district seat, but the seven-month investigation, comprised of more than 100 interviews and thousands of pages of public records, alleges the Republican's persona is orchestrated to mask a series of concerning incidents, including UAL abuse, arson and false testimony. Michael Scola, the president of Louisville Public Media, which operates Kaiser, said in a statement to the Post that the news station is deeply sad to hear about Johnson's death and grieves for his family, friends, church community and constituents. Our Kentucky Center for Investigative Reporting released a report on Johnson this week. Our aim, as always, is to provide the public with fact-based, unbiased reporting and hold public officials accountable for their actions, he said. As part of our process, we reached out to Representative Johnson numerous times over the course of a seven-month investigation. He declined requests to talk about our findings, he said. In the wake of the allegations, David Osborne, the acting Kentucky House Speaker, called the report compelling and deeply troubling, according to the Associated Press. Gov. Matt Bevanar said he had not read the report and wanted to wait until we get some facts before commenting. He said in a tweet Wednesday that he was saddened by the news of Johnson's death. Sen, Rand Paul RKY, also tweeted about Johnson's death, and said he cannot imagine his pain or the heartbreak his family is dealing with.
The accusations against Johnson come as dozens of high-profile men have been fired or have resigned from their jobs in politics, media, entertainment and business after facing allegations of yearly harassing or assaulting women and men. They include Hollywood mogul Harvey Weinstein and broadcaster Charlie Rose, Sen. Al Franken D. Min, and Rep. John Conyers Jr. D. Mitch both said last week that they would leave Congress over UAL misconduct allegations. Other Kentucky House Republicans facing in recent months remain in the state legislature. Former Kentucky House Speaker Jeff Hoover, after admitting he paid to settle a UAL harassment claim made by a woman in his office, resigned from his leadership position last month but is still a state representative. Three other lawmakers involved in the secretive settlement had their committee chairmanships taken away from them but also still serve as representatives. It's not the first time leaders have called for Johnson to step down. In 2016, while running for office, he posted racist photos on his Facebook page that compared President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama to monkeys. He disregarded calls for him to drop out of the race, and won. At a news conference at the church Tuesday alongside family, campaign members and other church members, Johnson said the woman accusing him was motivated by his political opponents, according to the Courier-Journal. The woman supported Hillary Clinton in the 2016 election, he said, and disagrees with his conservative stance on abortion rights. This is an assault on all real people, there's no perfect people and you get into office and all of a sudden political s come against you and start accusing you after you're in office, Johnson said. He added that there is a season of UAL abuse allegations in politics, referring to the accusations against President Trump and Republican U.S. Senate candidate Roy Moore of Alabama. Johnson said, he didn't think all the women who've spoken out about abuse across the nation were lying, however. The woman accusing Johnson told Kaiser that she never returned to the apartment below the fellowship hall. When she didn't show up to the church for service the following Sunday, Johnson allegedly sent her a Facebook message. In the message, he said his daughter told him he had been mean to her, the victim, and his son, Boaz, the night of the party. Sarah said I was mean to Bo you and her by telling you all to go to bed so sorry don't remember I was told we all got drugged at TK's anyway so sorry if I sounded mean, you know you are one of my favorites, love you sorry Bo as did great Sunday your future husband, the message read, according to Kaiser. TK's refers to TK's pub, a local bar. The victim responded the next day, and said, according to Kaiser, drugged or not, I think you know what happened that night and that's why you're sending this message. I never thought something like that would happen to me, especially by someone like you. I looked at you as a dad, but now I sincerely hope I don't see you again, but I might try to maintain a relationship with your kids. And there is no point in responding to this message either because I don't want to talk about it ever again, Louisville Metro Police said they closed the case after investigating the allegations, according to Kaiser. On Tuesday, Johnson acknowledged that he sent the victim a Facebook message shortly after the night she stayed over, but again said he did not remember what happened on the night of the alleged abuse because he was drugged at the bar, according to the Courier-Journal. He said he didn't file a police report about the alleged drugging because he did not want to bring accusations against a bar. He later said at the news conference that he did recall what happened on that night, and said he never approached the victim while she was sleeping, according to the Courier-Journal. The Kaiser report also detailed other incidents from Johnson's past. A grand jury indicted him for complicity to commit arson and making a false police report in 1987, according to the report, which suggests Johnson may have been linked in another arson incident 13 years later in which his own church was burned down. Read more how conservative media reacted to Roy Moore's stunning loss Trump seeks to dismiss UAL harassment allegations as fake news why Mike Tirico's history of alleged UAL harassment hasn't led him to Matt Lauer's fate.